Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Fran, CEO here at Gen Z, and today we'll be discussing landing pages. Pay attention, this is very important. So basically, a landing page is whenever you click on a link and it brings you to a website of the brand. So this is when, uh, this is for example, through search engines where people find you through AdWords or SEO, influence organic traffic, uh, you end up at a landing page, right? You click on the link and there's a page. It just doesn't end there, social media ads and other various ways to bring traffic are linked to a landing page to your website, on your website. This page is crucial. This is where you get to ask a potential client for some sort of take, right? Or some sort of commitment. A good landing page determines your conversion rate. You spend all this time and money building and trying to funnel traffic to your website, uh, to your landing page. And if it doesn't convert, it's like an add to, add to card, for example, for e-commerce, right? You have an add to card, you have a hundred add to cards. And if it doesn't convert into a sales, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't like you can justify it. Like I, I, we have e-commerce properties, and we had that mindset like, oh, they they're buy later, or like, oh, uh, the price is, like is too high, or like maybe it's just not a good time for them. Nine times out of ten, that's not true, right? It's just the landing page or the uh, website is not converting, and it's stressful. I know it's stressful. Um, for local businesses, I, we haven't re ever ran PPC or Google AdWords for ourselves. But I know we have had clients that had like spent thousands of dollars on say one click like is $80 and people click on your ad and you expect to see a consultation, but no, there is no consultation because your landing page didn't convert. You spent that money for no reason. So I wish I could tell you there's a secret formula. Like you just do this and boom, hundred percent conversion rate. That's a myth. It's a good goal, but it's a myth. Anyone who could promise you hundred percent, hundred percent conversion rate. Is lying to you. I'm sorry, but they're pretty much scamming you. It's not possible. Nine like this. I've never seen a website. No one's in this industry has seen a website that converts 100. percent I'm kind of rambling here. The uh, the average e-commerce conversion rate is two to five percent. Now I can tell you for a fact that our websites reach around 7.5 on average. If you had one property that reached a 12 percent conversion rate, and that's unheard of in the industry. That's pretty fucking good, right? So. The way we got there was by adapting and being obsessed with getting the highest conversion rate possible. We're bringing in all this traffic, we better convert this traffic, right? We're spending all this money, this time, better convert on, on the traffic, split testing, having the mentality of not being good enough, getting better, competing with yourself. Even if you're beating everyone in the industry, you have to compete with yourself. That's the mindset we have here. The data we're giving, the audience we're targeting, all those things are, you need to account for all those things. The psychology, of the buyer. Good news for you, we've worked in almost every major industry in e-commerce and local business. From jewelry to uh, pet stores to kayaks, <laughs> outdoors, uh, the list goes on. I'm not going to get into that. So building a good landing page involves understanding the psychology of the buyer and op the optimization of the campaign you're running via the data provided and effectively implementing this, right? There's a saying. The idea is only 5% of the battle, right? 95% into execution. Even if you have a great product, a great service, if you can't execute on the marketing side of it, it's basically useless. No one, no one, if no one knows about it, or if the, the landing page does, looks like a poster, for example, it like it won't convert as well as it could, right? Think about the money you're spending and you should optimize this. But why not, if you're gonna spend money, why not spend it so you can get the best returns possible, right? Rant over. Sorry guys, kind of got really passionate in this video. So cheers, looking forward to hearing from you.